So thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Gladeson Nascimento. I am a community member of CETOS, and I'm here today to talk about how we deliver OpenShift RPMs to the community, right? I'm part of the PASSIG. The PASSIG is responsible for delivering OKDV3, which is based out of CETOS 7. We build against various targets and uh, we try to provide a kickstart guide for new com users, right? So OKD is basically made of RPMs and uh, containers. And the containers are delivered straight by Red Hat using Prowl. They manage how OKD is delivered on the Docker repositories, including Quay. So we build against upstream origin from GitHub. We do not remove older versions and we try to maintain them using the tag origin and the version. We rely on partners donating computer and networking and supporting time for us. We do everything on CTOS compute and we mirror stuff against the internet using the community. We use today Koji, which is an RPM based build system, which we also call CBS and that builds against the specific architectures that we support today. We also have uh, Ansible, which is uh, what we use to orchestrate the automation mostly. And that's what we use to execute the target build against the source RPM that CBS builds. We also rely on GitHub, which is where the SIG automation code is, but it's also where the origin code is, and it's also where the OpenShift Ansible installer is hosted. And you can connect there to see where we are today. Also, we use Jenkins for watching origin and OpenShift Ansible tags, and for running Ansible against triggered tags or following a particular schedule depending on the target that we are following. So how does this work? Uh, as you can see, we have a very complex interaction between uh, uh, developers and SIG members and the tools that we use. But basically what we have is uh, us, either uh, uh, us or Jenkins, watching GitHub and waiting on tags. So if it is Jenkins, it will be automated starting. If it is us, we will go to the command line and we will execute CBS for creating source RPMs. Then once those source RPMs are created, we request for testing repositories. When they are delivered, we run CBS against those repositories, and CBS will populate the target RPMs. Following on that, we request for candidate repos. This is based on the uh, fact that testing has worked. Uh, we run CBS against the new repository, then we go to the community and say, hey, would you mind helping us in evaluating whether those RPMs are good enough? And when the community give us a positive feedback, we run CBS one last time to populate the main repository, which will then be mirrored across the, the internet. So this is a very uh, complex yet uh, straightforward process. And uh, we rely on the help from the community. So you can help us test and release candidates and providing feedback through uh, one of our official channels. And you can also hang out on IRC for the sake of commenting and providing more detailed feedback. The current members today are Daniel and myself, but we can also be found on Slack or the Kubernetes Slack. And that's it. Thank you for uh, watching this today.